We're back at Game of Thrones. Thingy, Arthur, Glenmore, he just got killed. Let's continue. What is. whatever her name is? Gail. We're like straight into it. Wow. Okay, let's look at it. Let's look at it. The Bolton sigil. Also, the rag. Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. So sorry. I keep asking myself what we've done to deserve such hate. Did we bring it on ourselves? Or is this house just cursed? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. By the gods, I miss the Starks. The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Duncan. But can we even fight them? We don't have the numbers. We don't yet have Ryan back. And if Mir is right about an army from the south, Right now, everything depends on Asher. Once he and Malcolm bring us more fighting men, then Where we is he? Where is my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh, no. No. Oh, no. No! Arthur! It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. He did this for me. You can't blame yourself, Elena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. But he trusted me. He always has. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. And now to die, like this, tortured, mutilated. Ramsay Snow did this, he's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. If we hadn't been your allies, Elena. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Let's get you someplace, Paul. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. I understand. Sleep well, Elena. You're our guest here. For as long as you need. Thank you, Roderick. That, that means a lot. 
Anything that's so depressing. <clears throat> Thing is, Ramsey's actually one of my favourite characters because he's so fun. E. I don't want to say fun, but. Yeah. Ah, there you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you. Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros, in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. Lord Andros is a threat to my family. He's plotting against them, even as we speak. I believe you, but... You called attention to yourself, Mira. And you angered Marjorie. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. Oh no. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. I won't do anything to jeopardize it. That's fine by me. I don't need friends who get so easily overwhelmed. It makes me sad to hear you talk like that. I didn't that. mean to say it like that. Oh, no. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. They're still in very grave danger, I'm afraid. Well, I know you'll do everything in your power to protect them. Better go before she sees me. She'll be a forester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. She's taking us now. to Cersei. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. Oh no, even Cersei had to be in. Probably gonna be Cersei though. Come on, Beska, listen. How can you still be angry at me? Is that a joke? I had Dezor Zaraza in my hand, and you made me let him go. You know why. <sighs> yeah, you were afraid of disobeying the pretty little queen. You chose your prize over my one chance of revenge. And for what? There's no way this dragon queen comes through. Enough! Your revenge would have cost me everything. It'd be worth it to see him dead. Oh, and you'd explain that to my family's corpses. <sighs> we should never have come here. This city... It only holds pain for me, Asha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. But you denied me that. I... Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asha, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Gonna be a twist. Your She's gonna say that she needs My them. nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. And for that, I am grateful. I hear you know how to follow orders, despite your friend's efforts to make you stray. You told me Asher was a man of integrity, Malcolm. Now I know you were telling the truth. You have proved yourself an honorable warrior. You have my gratitude. 
Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second son. Told you. What? But your grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. This is why you denied me my revenge? What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. Your grace, we risked our lives for you. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. In truth, we are not so different. We're both far from home. We've both suffered the loss of those we've loved. And we both struggle to do what's right. <laughs> I'm above attractive. That's high praise, Your Grace. I'm honoured. You've earned it. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. Gold. This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Thank you, Your Grace. We promise to put it to good use. I'm sure you will. Bet you were gonna like lose it or something. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Wait, what? Plans for me, Your Grace. Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. <laughs> oh, no. You'd seriously consider <clears throat> staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. But if she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. Whatever. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. <sighs> the little Queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers. And I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. Ah, uh, mate. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. Well, this is getting interesting in it. Okay, <clears throat> looks like we're going off the wall. Uh, finish here. See you next time. Bye.